Well, this is the next bowl in this series of bowl making videos. And this is the next one. I jumped forward on the last one to get that heart shaped one in for uh, Valentine's Day to get it in my display down at my consignment shop. So that's done. That was a little more advanced than these bowls I've been making as far as how the pattern is set up in multiple angles. Not the first time I've ever done that, but it's the first time I, I jumped ahead in this book a little bit. So this is the next one in the series. If I'd have stayed in, uh, in step through the book, and this one she calls a rounded square bowl, and you can see why she calls it that. It's a rounded square bowl. So I have copied the pattern off. I've got a copy of the pattern back there, but this is the blank I made. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm using a bunch of scrap. This is still a practice bowl. So I just gathered up some scrap. Uh, I've got that's some kind of a seconds package. I'm not sure exactly what it was. It was 13 sixteenths instead of three quarter. So I, I trimmed it down on the table saw. And then this middle piece is actually three pieces of three quarter inch layered to make a three quarter inch piece. I use some of my quarter inch scrap that way. And I think that's cherry and poplar and uh, I'm not even sure what the other one is, but this is walnut. These two stripes are walnut. And then it wasn't quite wide enough, so I got two more pieces of uh, quarter inch and sandwiched in to give me another half inch in width, which was what I needed for that pattern to fit. And I believe that's some sort of a burled walnut. And I had some of that in the second patch. It's real nice stuff. And uh, made some nice little objects out of that. That's just... Uh, some scrap from that. So uh, I'm going to mount the pattern and get it ready. This is all cut at 28 degrees. It says 28 degrees and it gets the same directions as, uh, as the, the earlier ones. You mount the pattern, drill the holes, and uh, as you go you, you, you mark the uh, guidelines on the rings. And it's just the same procedure. It's just a matter of being a little different shape. And I'm using a little bit different material than what I've been using. I've had done a lot of sanding and planing on that to get that as smooth and flat as I can. So uh, let me get the tape on the wood and the pattern on the tape, and we'll figure out our, our degrees, our angles. I got me a, a digital angle finder, I can, so I can. I was having trouble with the table saw. I mean the the scroll saw. I was using my phone to set the angle. And it was working okay, it seemed like, but then I go back to set the second angle. The angle had changed from the time I set it, so I don't know if it was my phone. Uh, I think my phone was lying to me a little bit there. And those, those rings were off a little bit, so I bought me a different angle gauge that I'm going to try on this bow. But they're all cut at the same one. I don't have to change the angles as I go. So let me get everything mounted, and we'll start drilling holes and, and cutting the the rings out. Alright, I got the pattern mounted. I'm going to use my little digital deal to set this angle. It's showing 28.1 uh, and that shows it's very very close to my little angle gauge that I made on the first bowl. It's slightly off from it but not much. So I'm going to go with this with high confidence. I've gone to a number seven blade. It's a little larger. I've been trying to do it with a five, but I'm going to move up a size so I can use a, a larger drill bit that may not flex as a drill. And that was one of the problems I had in the last two bowls. So I'm going to cut this outer ring right now, this, this outline of this uh, pattern on this blank, and then I'm going to set my table saw and figure out what size drill bit I need. And I'm going to drill this first entry hole right here. And we'll come back and then cut that ring completely off. Now let's get this outside cut made first. So I moved up to the next drill bit in that little set 
I used 1.2 on the last one for the number 5 blade. This is a 1.6, and it's plenty big enough for this number 7 blade. I think I may have drilled it off center a little bit in that ring, but we'll see that when we get it cut out. It's going to be within sanding range because it's going to shape the top of this bowl anyway. I'll drive it over the bench so I can mark these lines in there. And I just wanted to show it. I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it's lining up. It's looking really good. Uh, they got obviously got the angle pretty good there. Uh, and it's fitting the pattern just the way it's supposed to. So, so far so good. I got two more cuts to make. I got to now mark and grill this entry hole and cut the next one. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, I have it to the bench, marking, uh, marking the second ring, the bottom one there. And again, it's fitting the pattern very nicely, so I'm obviously cutting it fairly accurately, and the angle is right. It's looking good on the outside. There's not going to be a lot of sanding. The, uh, the grill marks will be the biggest thing to sand, which I think is the way it should be. So I've got one more hole to drill and one more cut to make, and we'll have all the rings cut out and just be a matter of uh, gluing and sanding. Okay, so I've got the patterns removed, sanded the gluing surfaces, and checked for gaps between the rings. Everything looks like it's lining up real nicely. So now I'm going to glue it together and press it, and uh, for the preliminary uh, sanding on the inside. So let me get my glue together, and I'll start working on that. Well, the top rim of the bowl would not fit down between these bolts on the press, so I improvised here. I flipped this upside down so these bolts were outside the base of the box, and then just clamped those together with my clamps. I think that's going to work fine. I'm going to let it sit there. I've already taken it out once and uh, scraped the glue off. Now I'm going to leave it in there for about 30 minutes, and I'll be ready to start sanding on it. Okay, so I've Got the preliminary in, internal sanding done. Came out pretty well. Flared this off a little bit and narrowed it down. I'll probably do some more, but I'll wait till I get the outside sanding and see where we stand. Uh, sanding pretty nicely. I'm using the uh, drum sander. I'm not using the inflatable pad sander. Uh, this is pretty straight sides, and that, that's pretty efficient to do it that way. So I'm going to glue this base on now, and we'll let do the go through the procedure of clamping that up and and getting it uh, on there. i got to sand it a little bit. i got a little bit of a gap right there. But I'll do that, and then I'll glue it on, clamp it up, and then we'll start standing the outside.
All right, after lots of sanding, I've got this done. Well, not finished. I got to put a finish on it, but I've got it shaped as much as I want to. I didn't want to go any thinner because this wood's really soft. It doesn't really sand; it shreds. It doesn't cut real smooth either. It kind of comes off in fibers. I'm not sure what it is. It smells like a cross between walnut and and uh, and oak actually. And it doesn't sand really smooth and nicely, but uh, that's going to be good enough. I sanded with the the drum sander on my a two inch drum sander on my drill press and also sanded with the uh, with the belt my belt sander and I used a quarter uh, sheet sander plus some sand hand sanding so um, that's about as good as I'm going to get it I believe and you can see the design I got with that weird wood I put together that's just some scrap all this is scrap I'm just using up and it's a good way to get rid of some of it. So let me put a, I think I'll put some uh, cutting board oil on it and uh, give that a while to set and soak in a little bit and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, I've got some mineral oil on it. This uh, mineral oil is designed, it's been set up specifically for a cutting board. It has some vitamin E or something in it, whatever, but any good food grade mineral oil will work and so it hadn't all soaked in yet just it kind of shiny I hope you can see I really like the way it turned out that's a uh, nice grain on that wood it's not real easy wood to work with it's so soft it's uh, hard to uh, keep from making it fuzzy or kind of ripping off in your hand it, it like I say it didn't sand it shredded and it kind of shreds a little bit when you cut it, it didn't get a smooth cut it's really soft Anyway, I like the way it turned out, and that's the next in the line of bowls. I got a, I don't know what the next one is. I haven't looked that far forward, but this was, like I say, just using up some scrap. They came out with an interesting little design. I'm kind of pleased with that, and uh, I hope you like it too. And uh, it's working out pretty good. Moving up to a number seven and a larger uh, drill bit. It's a little more sanding. But it's not as much as if the, the, the blade, the, the bit flexes in the hole. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked that. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, you want to see more bowls. And I do more than just bowls. If, if you hadn't seen anything else, I do a whole lot of wide range of stuff. So uh, you know, hit subscribe so you can see what I got and see the next bowls coming out. These are going to be all in a playlist when I get done. And I don't know how many I'm actually going to do. There's 30 in this book. I don't know that I'm going to do them all. But I'm going to do at least 10 or more. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.